Good morning, everybody. I am currently on a call out in the Pargate area, Ottawa. A complainant phoned me this morning to say that they saw a snake in the toilet and it went up into the rim of the toilet here and they tried to flush to see if they could flush him out and there was no sign of him. When the complainant phoned me, I thought possibly it might be a, a slug that he saw. You know, I thought maybe a slug would have um, elongated its body and maybe looked like a snake. Um, so I've come out here and have a look at this. Okay, watch where this little guy is hiding here. So that's where the water would come out when you flush the toilet. There's obviously quite a big cavity in there and he's lodged himself in there. I've tried to get him out with a piece of wire but he actually completely disappears. I don't even know where he goes so you can't even feel him. You know with a piece of wire you can normally prod and you can feel the snake feels like you're prodding rubber and uh, you prod and then the snake just vanishes and then there's no sign of it. You can't feel him in there, can't see him. So I'm going to try a slightly different technique now I've made up a little solution here um, So <clears throat> I'm going to try and just squirt a little bit of that in here in the hopes that it just makes the snake feel a bit uneasy and uncomfortable and hopefully it'll come out Obviously when the snake does come out, I'll give him a nice rinse off, I'll wash him off to get the stuff off of his body. It won't harm him in any way. Yeah, now it's just a bit of a waiting game. That's if he actually does decide to come out. Maybe he's got a another place in there that he can slither off into. And sort of get away from the smell, I don't know. Okay, let's uh, just have another look in there and see if there's any progress or see if he's disappeared altogether again. Yep. Yeah. Just disappears. I don't know where it goes. Yeah, so I'll try with a piece of wire again. Can't feel anything in here. But you can see it goes quite deep. I mean, from there, it goes all that way in there. Don't know where he goes to. I'll try flushing again. Got to get ready to catch him. I don't want to flush him down the toilet. Very tricky situation this. Okay, let's 
have another look here quickly, guys. No sign. Okay, so what we've done is we've shut off the water supply here. Yeah? And uh, <coughs> we've flushed, flushed the toilet to get rid of the water in the system. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, which will give me access to the hole at the bottom here. Because that hole leads down into the part of the toilet where the snake is obviously sitting. It helps when you've got a friend who's a plumber. Thank you, Chris, for your input. So what Chris has suggested is that I'm wasting my time trying to undo this and try and access the snake through that hole at the bottom. He has suggested that I just undo the screws that connect the system and the pan and just lift this whole system off. Obviously the order supply is off, that's the most important thing. Luckily we've got a flexible wire here, so I don't really need to unscrew that. There's enough play here for me to just move the system and like put it here. So, <clears throat> that is what I'm going to do. Just got to get a spanner or something or pliers and, and do this first. Gosh, this is a tricky situation. Very clever snake. He just keeps vanishing and then reappearing. And I've just had a look now and he's back there. There he is. And now he's gone. Oh, there he is. Hello snake. Yeah, you're making my life very challenging here. Anyway, let's get something to undo these screws and get the system off and we'll be in business. Okay, so that's the little guys I needed to get rid of. <laughs> now the whole system should to lift off. has been moved which gives me access to this space here and I'm glad we did this because come look at the condition of the seal here it's, it's like buggered mm. yeah we can have See, because this rubber was so bugged, they try to fill it with this rubber, which isn't necessary if this rubber is nice and new. just temporarily
There he comes. Oh. He just came out, but he saw you and he went back. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. At least we, at least I know I'm onto something here. got in there and why he wanted to be in he's there. He's so cute. I don't know. <laughs> so. I think he must be rinsed off with the yeah. uh, gunge that's in yeah. there as well. So as promised, because I coated it with my chemical earlier, obviously when I sprayed it in there it must have gone on her. So as promised I'm giving her a little bath just to get all of that stuff off of her. I mean, it was very, very diluted, so probably wouldn't have any effect on her anyway, but rather be safe than sorry. Hey, Snake, having a bath. And uh, she's quite calm. She hasn't even tried to bite. Even with me doing this, she's quite content. You're a happy snake, a happy toilet snake. <laughs> Okay, let me wash her off, rinse her off at least. <laughs> 